Today we are working on a shabby chic paper crafting project for fall home decor, a Renee Bouquet's design team project. But first, welcome to my channel. My name is Linda. If this is your first time here and you don't want to miss out on any further DIY craft videos from me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and notification bell for future updates from my channel, Fachik 777s DIY by Design. Let's get started. But wait! Before we get started, if you watch until the end of the video, I've got a surprise for you, so stay tuned. And now, let's get crafting. So what I've got here is a wood piece that's been in my stash for probably over 10 years. I want to use Prima Heavy Gesso in black and white. I don't want to just use plain black because it's a little bit too stark of black for the papers I'm using. So I'm using mostly black and just a tiny bit of white and mixing it together because if you too too much white or into the black, of course, it'll turn gray and I don't want that. I just want to soften the black a little bit. I've got a pounce brush here, a foam brush, a pounce foam brush, and I'm dipping it into that mixed gesso and I'm just pouncing it in all the areas, all the raised areas um, and around the perimeter of all the areas of this board, basically anywhere that I'm not going to put paper. So this is what it looks like when it's done. And I'm using a uh, paper from Prima Marketing. It's called Amber Moon. Um, I love this collection. Yes, I have sewed around all the papers off camera. And I want to, for your viewing pleasure, show you how I cut all the pieces off of, <laughs> all the threads off all the pieces. Um, anyway, I love this collection for kind of the blacks and the oranges and the tans, the khakis, love it. So I wanted to really work with this because, you know, tis the season. I am now distressing the edges of all my papers. As you can see here, I just opened a pair of scissors and I am just basically scraping it along all the edges of my pieces. It's real easy to do and adds such great texture. Since these are the same size, I'm like, I wonder if I can do these together. And I can, so I got two done at one time. <laughs> And now back to the single sheet of paper. Isn't that cute paper? Look at those words and those pumpkins. Oh, just love it. All right, so we're going to start gluing everything. I'm going to use Fabri-Tac glue by Beacon. You can get that at uh, all the craft stores. You'll want to use a coupon if you get it at Joann's or Michael's or Hobby Lobby because they do overprice it a bit. Um, but you can get it at Walmart. Our Walmart has it for that large bottle, the eight ounce bottle for just a couple of pennies under $10, which sounds like a lot, but this bottle goes a long way. Um, and this glue, I use it in all my crafting. Um, it holds everything. It's perfect. So I'm just going to kind of add glue to the backs of some of these papers all at once, and then I'll flip them over and glue them down. I loved how these four corners are raised because it allows such a treat in kind of dividing up the paper in the background, giving you that, you know, texture in the background. So it's just a nice change from just one solid sheet of paper. These are boards from my stash by Tim Holtz. It's called, they are vignette panels. I love to use them. Isn't that pretty paper? I love to use them in layering. It just adds a little something. So, and of course, as you can see here, double-sided paper. Look at those beautiful pumpkins and butterflies, perfect for fall. I think this paper collection, uh, can I talk? Paper collection came out uh, last year, 2018. He's got a new, uh, Frank Garcia, designer of this paper, came out with a new fall collection this year, which I can't wait to get my hands on. This is a Rene Bouquet Beautiful Board Laser Cut Chipboard product. Look at that cute paper with those words, leaves, pumpkins, love it. Uh, these are, a set of two is how they come. They're stackable heart ATC tag sets. The little heart at the top of that tag, I will use that later. It has a separate little heart. I'll use that later. These are Renee Bouquet Beautiful Board Laser Cut Chipboard set of two fancy fall corners. I'm using the small size. Look at the beautiful intricate cuts of that chipboard. Here is Memory Hardware Resin Frame called Marcio Grand by Prima Marketing. Of course, Renee has these in her shop. I use these resin frames all the time. So I'm just kind of figuring out my placement of where I want this fancy fall corner. Perfect. 
perfect, right there. And since that uh, chipboard is kind of raised on my wood piece there, I'm going to add a little bit of this black chipboard in my stash. I got a big package of these from joannes.com. You don't have to buy chipboard. You can just kind of reuse like cardboard packaging. But I'm adding that to the back of this paper because that way it will make my paper exactly level with uh, kind of that chipboard piece. So that Renee Bouquet Beautiful board. Okay, and you'll find me using that chipboard a lot, the black pieces of, I'll call it cardboard so it's not to confuse with the chipboard. You'll find me using that cardboard a lot to level things out as I'm layering up. This is a Renee Bouquet Beautiful Board Laser Cut Chipboard Twisted Chain Frame. They come in a set of three. I'm using the small size. And I'm going to set that aside a minute. I am going to whitewash this little wood shutter. I picked these up at Hobby Lobby in the dolls section, the dollhouse section. And I've got some uh, water-based chalk paint here that I have mixed with water to water it down a little bit more. And I'm taking a baby wipe and I'm wiping that off so that I can just give this a really nice light washed color. I don't want it all the way white and I don't want it the color that it originally is. It needs a little something, it's a little bit too plain. So by kind of whitewashing and while it's still wet, kind of wiping it off with a baby wipe, see what that does? That kind of just gives it a nice little farmhouse feel. Okay, I'm gonna wipe off a little bit more. Perfect once I add a little more paint and wipe off a little bit more. <laughs> okay, so what we're gonna do next here, uh, after I make sure this is all nice and dry, is I'm gonna add a, uh, go ahead and add my frame, resin frame here. And I have that little piece skinny cardboard there to kind of take up the space on the end next to that twisted chain frame so that my resin frame will be level once I glue it on. There we go. Add a little glue here and nice and level. As much as I layer, I just have to level things out. It's just, it's just the, how it works. Otherwise, things will kind of fall and slant sideways, and we don't want that. I'm taking about seven or eight pieces of this cardboard and layering it together, and I'm going to place it in the middle of that resin frame there because once I start layering on top of that, I don't want things to fall to the center of that frame. So I've got to take up that space there. Okay, we'll put that aside. Here is a Renee Bouquet. Love it chiffon pearl and rhinestone flower in khaki i'll do the other flowers later but i have to lay this one down first because it's going to kind of go under this little mini wood shutter here i love those rhinestone flowers they're so soft and just beautiful renee has many colors in her shop Put that frame on there i kind of have to let that frame the, and the glue set up off camera for a little bit because otherwise it kind of wants to tilt off that frame. This is just a little Tim Holtz uh, metal embellishment and arrow. It's from my stash. I'm adding it to the frame as well. And now I'm going to go ahead and bring in that stacked cardboard. Gonna cut off a little corner there. It's kind of interfering with that Renee Bouquet frame. And then we're going to stack the heart frame right on top. There we go. Perfect. And then we're going to add again another piece. But then I forget that I was going to add something underneath. Take that back off. Add a couple pieces more of cardboard because I'm going to have to get everything level and a little metal frame underneath kind of going off to the right side there. Just add a little more texture because I don't have enough. There we go. Now it's all set and ready to go. 
I'm going to bring in, uh, this is just a chipboard frame, uh, Amelia Rose collection by Prima Marketing. Just seeing how everything's going to look. Bring in some flowers. These are Renee Bouquet Mulberry flowers. Oh, I love these in pale apricot. These are Prima Marketing flowers, Midnight Garden collection called This Place. These are Prima Flowers Spring Farmhouse collection called No Other Place. These are Prima Flowers uh, by Pretty Pale collection. That package of flowers, um, Renee doesn't have that particular package in uh, supply right now, but she does have other uh, flowers by the Pretty Pale collection. So all these flowers I'm working with right now, excluding that black one you see right there, that is from the Amber Moon collection that I'm working with the paper. Those are from my stash, but all the rest of these came from Renee Bouquets. And I, of course, as usual, have all the links down below to all the product I use from Renee Bouquets on this project. So it's going to just take me a moment to kind of place my flowers everywhere. See how it's nice, actually, that I layered up because I'm able to put those flowers kind of in between the layers. So it kind of works for layering and it looks really nice. See, it just kind of slides right in. checking frame placement in the flowers here and I'll go ahead and glue that on I'm not going to rely on the sticker of the frame I never do and anything's like stickers or has a back on it already I don't rely on that I go ahead and add extra glue I don't rely it still being there two years from now or five years from now however long this piece might be displayed I love all these flowers. Love the colors, the blacks. Apricot is the perfect name for a really light, light orange. It matched perfectly with this paper collection. Those Renee Bouquet mulberry flowers, the apricot. I love saying that name. Doesn't apricot sound cuter than just saying orange flowers? Come on, who likes that? Look at those beautiful apricot flowers. <laughs> My humor's in fine form today, folks. <laughs> I'm going to bring in some Renee Bouquet Beautiful Board Laser Cut Chipboard. These come in a set of 23. They're called Fancy Fall Tuck-Ins. Look at all these pieces you get. Corn on the cob and different leaves and uh, acorns. Love it. So I'm going to use these four pieces here. We're going to kind of go ahead and glue them in amongst the flowers. Yeah, you heard me right. A set of 23. So this set will go a long way. And I love that there's all sorts of different leaves and everything in there. And who doesn't love a cute acorn? I mean, look at that. You're not going to really be able to tell their acorns once I tuck them in. You're just going to see the fancy edge, but there you go. I've got things laying where I want them, so I'm just pulling them back out, and then I'll glue them. I was just kind of testing off camera where I wanted things. See, those are so cute sticking out of the flowers. These are pieces from my stash by Prima, just some metal pieces. Because of that metal arrow down there, I wanted to bring in a couple more pieces uh, of metal to kind of tie in. These are Renee Bouquet Beautiful Board Laser Cut Chipboard Decorative Clock Hands. They come in a set of six and I am using the extra large size. They are large um, and I'm putting this clock hand facing up to help kind of offset the design of the arrow on the lower left so it kind of ties it all in nicely together. I'm adding a little bit of crochet lace from my stash. That kind of lends to the shabby chic feel. And here comes a little bit of thin twine also from my stash. And that kind of lends to the fall feel of the project. Adding another flower or two. I'm going to bring in my title now. Uh, this is called uh, Sweet as Honey. It's beautiful board laser cut chipboard beautiful words. I'm using the small size. Here's the heart from that ATC. I'm going to glue that in at the bottom. And I'm just using the word sweet from that beautiful word set. These two pieces here are from Prima Marketing from my stash. 
butterflies. Rene Bouquet, beautiful butterflies. These are called tiny treasure butterflies. Their name is called Harmony. I love the colors of this butterfly. I can't believe I'm loving like oranges. Wait a minute, we called it apricot. I love ap ap apricot, apricot, whatever you wanna call it. Love the colors of the apricot and the tans and the blacks. Yeah, you know, I just, it all works together. I can't believe I'm using, you know, apricot on my project, but I love it. So my title for this project is called Sweet Moments Together because it just kind of reminded me, you know, in fall time, we often think of things obviously like Thanksgiving, spending time with family and friends, you know, making memories together. So that's why I chose the title, framing it all up so that that is kind of the focal point and the butterfly, the focal point of the project. So that's how I kind of came up with this. I hope you like how this came out. I, of course, like I said earlier, we'll have all the links down below to the product I used on this project. I'll have all the links to Renee Bouquet's, the Facebook, the group page, the blog. Um, everything will be there for you. Uh, the dot com, the Etsy, there will be a coupon code down below for you for the month of September. I'll have my social media links. Come follow me on Instagram, on Pinterest. Come follow my blog. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Share this on social media and well you made it to the end of the video for the surprise announcement this month september of this year 2019 marks the second anniversary for renable k beautiful board laser cut chipboard product so i'm gonna have a giveaway there'll be two prizes one is the project that you just saw and two will be a package of renable k beautiful board laser cut chipboard product so, if you're interested in winning either one of those pieces, there are a few things you need to do. Number one, of course, you have to be a subscriber to my channel. Number two, now this is not going to um, be a part of everybody. I understand that. But those of you that are on Instagram, I want you to come follow me on Instagram, okay? My link will be down below. But if you're not part of that, it doesn't mean you're not in the drawing, okay? So this is kind of a second option. If you're part of Instagram, come follow me on Instagram. Number three, I want you to leave a comment down below. There is two parts to the comment. Number one, tell me where you're at. And if it was me, my humor would come into play and I'd be like, well, I'm on my couch watching you. <laughs> That's not what I mean. I want to know, where do you live? Don't get specific. I want everybody to be safe. You know, are you in the USA? You know, you can say I'm in Texas or I'm in California or something like that. But are you in the USA? Are you in Canada? Maybe you're in um, Greece something like that because I'm just interested to know where a lot of my viewers are watching me from and the second part of that comment is let me know what you want to win do you want to win the project or do you want to win the Renee Bouquet beautiful board product or both if you're only interested in like one of them I will take your name out of the other one so that someone else has a better chance to win okay if you're interested in both of them perfectly fine and I hope that you all are I hope you all want a chance to win the project or Renee Bouquet's beautiful board all right so like i said be a subscriber to my channel if you're on instagram follow me there and comment down below where do you live and which prize do you want to win i will have this run for about a week and then i will use the youtube uh, random comment picker thing to draw two winners i'll talk with you again soon bye